The 2020 presidential election will be held on November 3rd, 2020, where incumbent U.S. President Donald Trump will face former Vice President Joe Biden in 50 states to see who will become the next President of the United States. Predicting U.S. elections is very complicated, with factors like the Electoral College, polling data, popularity, and pressing key issues that impact the elections all in consideration when making a prediction. In today's video, we will use these four key points to accurately predict the outcome of this presidential election. We will first look at popularity as this is a very easy question to answer. Donald Trump is known to be very unpopular, especially amongst independents and moderate Republicans, which are key groups of voters for Republicans in 2020. Amongst his own party, many Republicans have yet to endorse Trump, with many not planning to do at all. Some notable Republicans that have yet to endorse Trump include the current Utah Senator Mitt Romney, former U.S. President George W. Bush, and popular Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski, who do not plan to endorse Donald Trump. Other than his own party members, what does the general public think of Donald Trump? Latest Trump approval polls that are weighted for political bias by 538 show the following. A YouGov poll on July 10th shows 43% approve of the president, 55% disapprove, 2% with no opinion, with a net approval rating of negative 12. Morning Consul reported on July 9th that 37% approve of the president, 58 disapprove, 5% with no opinion, and 21% net disapproval. Ipsops on July 7th reported 39% approval for the president, 56 disapproval, 5% no opinion with a net negative 17 approval. This shows he's very unpopular. Now that we know about Donald Trump's popularity, what about Joe Biden's popularity? Biden is somewhat popular nationwide, with many dubbing him Uncle Joe for his grandpa-like character. Although he may be popular nationwide, amongst his own party, Biden still faces some challenges, specifically when it comes to the progressive faction of the Democratic Party. Bernie Bros, as they're called, supporters of former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, a lot of them have said that come fall, they will not be voting for Joe Biden. Since Joe Biden is not in office right now and does not have approval ratings, we will look at his favorability ratings to compare with Donald Trump's approval ratings. The latest average of Real Clear Politics Biden favorability ratings show that Joe Biden is net disapproved by 1.2%, which is actually in the upper echelon of US politicians. When it comes to popularity and favorability, both candidates bring things to the table. Joe Biden is more popular nationwide, but less popular with the Democratic base, while Donald Trump is very popular with his base. Nonetheless, Donald Trump loses, and the most favorable candidate and most popular candidate is Joe Biden for this election. Now that we've taken a look at popularity, let's look at pressing key issues that will have an impact on the 2020 presidential election. Identifying off of exit polls during primaries and polls asking what issues voters value most, we can come up with three issues that people value. The economy, healthcare, and handling of COVID-19 in the United States. The U.S. economy has experienced very consistent growth from the second term of the Obama administration to before the pandemic, with this graph showing jobs, small businesses, and foreign trade have all increased. The Midwest, the area where voters most care about the economy, has experienced economic growth since Trump took office. This could truly help Donald Trump in his claim to win the Midwest again. In recent polls asking about the economy, Donald Trump does very well. In a recent poll that asked who would handle the economy better, Donald Trump led Joe Biden by over 12 points. Comparing this to his very low approval rating nationwide, we can tell that Donald Trump is one of his strong suits is the economy, and that might help him win the election. Healthcare has been a key issue in America's political system for many years. Many Democrats have fought to improve healthcare conditions. Many issues like deductibles, quality of care, and cost insurance come to head for Americans today, and politicians are debating everything when it comes to healthcare. When it comes to healthcare, there's a big debate on both sides of the aisle. On one side, you have Democrats that want Medicare for All and Obamacare expansions, while Republicans in the Senate and the House want more presentation of healthcare and rollback of Obamacare. These are going to be the biggest opinions and the biggest difference between two parties when it comes to healthcare, and voters will choose on what they want. When it comes to healthcare, Joe Biden has an edge over Donald Trump. This is because many rural voters, along with most Democrats, support Obamacare. Now, if he moves from the Obamacare 
towards a Medicare for All platform, that might hurt his chances with those voters that are looking for a better health care option. At the end of the day, the American people believe that Joe Biden has a better um, health care plan than Donald Trump. The last and the most pressing issue in this election will be COVID-19 and its handling. COVID-19 has been one of the worst things that happened to the US in a long time. Many lives have been lost, many of which could have been prevented if handled was a little better. Deaths, economy, and freedom and safety are big things that are being discussed. The Sun Belt has been the area that has been hardest hit with spikes of new cases daily. Many argue between the freedom of having to wear their mask or having to stay quarantine at home. A very hard thing, but a thing we must ask about COVID-19 is what will be the political impact. Since Joe Biden is not in office, Donald Trump will either get all the blame or the praise with COVID-19. As of right now, Donald Trump has been very criticized for his handling of COVID-19, especially when it comes to giving orders to reopen in states maybe where they, not, where they were not ready. Now, there's some states that do have some praise for Donald Trump because of how the economy started to revamp after months of slow movement. So right now, it's helping Donald Trump, but it's also hurting him. Now that we have looked at the key issues that will affect this election, let's look at polls and predictions to see what will happen in the 2020 presidential election. Looking at recent nationwide polling between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, we can see that Biden is currently ahead nationwide by more than 9 points. While in other places, this may be a considerable lead. Because of the way the U.S. decides elections through the Electoral College, nationwide polls do not paint the bigger picture, but rather, state-by-state -state polling can give an accurate description of what each state will go and how they will allocate their electoral votes. Taking this in consideration, battleground polls between Joe Biden and Donald Trump show Biden ahead in many key swing states. These include Florida, North Carolina, Arizona, Wisconsin, and even Texas. Polls just add to Joe Biden's chances of victory, but now with many different things, including polls showing Biden with a lead, what is my prediction for the 2020 presidential election? Similarly to the trends that in this video that show Joe Biden has a high chance of winning the next presidency, my forecast shows Joe Biden will become the next president of the United States. He's doing so by flipping the Rust Belt, Arizona, North Carolina, and Florida, and this will show that Joe Biden has nationwide support. My forecast shows Joe Biden currently at 333 electoral votes compared to President Trump's 205. Anything can still happen as we're still a little far from election day. Nonetheless, Joe Biden is slated to win, although things can change. When answering our final question, who will win and who will prevail, it's pretty easy. All fingers in this video have been pointing to Joe Biden with the polls, policy issues, and popularity. Donald Trump still does have a chance at the presidency. And if he does win, it will be a huge upset for the American people. I hope you now have a better understanding of the 2020 presidential election. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to get notified when I post my next video.